hit the squat. So the squat once again is quite a complicated move, although it is relatively simple, you're just literally dropping down and standing back up. Um, what you need to focus on initially is um, how far apart your feet are. So generally width is dictated by your flexibility. I'm pretty inflexible, so I stand really wide and I put my toes out. Um, that opens up my hips and it allows me to get deeper into the squat um, without pulling and causing pressure on my lower back, which is what you've got to worry about. Secondly is actual form of our hips. So we're bringing our hips and our weight back. Imagine we're sitting onto a chair. As we do that, we're going to bend our knees and we're going to drop into the bottom of the position. To stand back up, we're going to squeeze our glutes, we're going to squeeze our hamstrings, we're going to squeeze our quads, we're going to squeeze everything, and we're going to come back up. And at the top, you're really going to squeeze your glutes and you're going to force your hips into a nice straight line. Um, okay, after that is set up, set up of the bar. So once you're comfortable doing bodyweight squats, um, you know you've got it, then we'll move on to the bar. Um, initially with the bar, taking it off, if you've got tight shoulders, tight chest, that can cause you pain. So I'll show you a stretch in a minute that can help deal with that. Also, a lot of people take the bar on the neck, roughly there. That's not where you want it. You want to sit a lot lower, um, and if you push your shoulder, shoulders back, it creates a nice little ledge for the bar to sit on, and that's the position you want it in. From there, you're going to pull down as hard as you can, wrapping the bar around your body. You're going to take two steps backwards, you're going to drop down into the squat, and then you're going to fire your glutes, stand back up, and then you're going to repeat. So just watch in for a demonstration. Okay, so that was a demonstration of the bar. As you notice, my weight roughly goes onto my heels and then it stays through the middle of my feet. Um, hand position when doing body weight squats doesn't really matter. I use mine as a counterbalance so they come out slightly in front. Um, so it's up to you. You can hold a weight, you can put them across your chest. Um, you decide. So next I'm going to show you a demonstration using the bar. Um, Hand grip, again, is based on flexibility. The less flexible you are, the wider, it's more comfortable. And if you're quite flexible, then you can obviously take it a bit shorter. Um, play about, experiment, and see what the strongest position is um, for you. Step under the bar, come under it, step up, then take two steps back, then you can start your squat. Watch in again for another demonstration. Okay, also, um, neck position, you want to roughly try and keep your neck in a neutral position. Sometimes it can help if you look down and focus on the ground. Um, okay, so as I discussed earlier, if you've got a tight chest, this is an excellent stretch that you can use. From here, you're going to push your hips back. And you should feel the tension across your chest and in your shoulders. Okay, that covers everything with the squat. 